In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set the current limit on our A4988 stepper motor driver. These stepper motor drivers have become increasingly popular for CNC, 3D printing and Arduino projects. They're really cheap and easy to use, requiring just two pins to control them. One important thing to set up when using these drivers is the motor current limit. This is especially important if you're using a higher input voltage than what the motor is rated for. Using a higher voltage generally enables you to get more torque and a faster step speed, but you'll need to actively limit the amount of current flowing through the motor coils so that you don't burn your motor out. There are two methods to do this. The one is to use a multimeter to physically measure the current flowing through one of the coils, and the second method, which is the one we're going to look at, is to calculate and adjust the reference voltage on the driver, which then doesn't require the motor to be hooked up or powered. In each motor driver pack, you'll get a small heatsink which should be stuck onto the driver chip and you'll need to use a small screwdriver to adjust this little pot to set the current limit. In order to do this, we'll need to bridge the sleep and reset pins and then supply power to the board's logic circuit through the ground and VDD pins. This can be supplied from the 5V supply on your Arduino. Let's start by hooking up our driver. Now we need to calculate the reference voltage that we're going to be setting. This is done through the following formula. The reference voltage is equal to the maximum motor current multiplied by 8 and then by the current sensing resistance. The maximum motor current can be found on the motor data sheet. Ours is 0.9 amps. The current sensing resistance can be found on your driver's data sheet but is most commonly 0.068 ohms for newer drivers. Using this formula, we calculate that our reference voltage should be set to 0.49 volts. The easiest way to set this voltage is to clip the negative multimeter lead to your Arduino's ground pin and then the positive to the metal part of a small screwdriver using some alligator clip leads. You can now simultaneously make changes to the reference voltage and read the voltage on your multimeter, making it easy to adjust. Set your multimeter to the DC voltage measurement and then place the head of the screwdriver onto the potentiometer. You should now get a reading for the reference voltage. Turning the screwdriver anti-clockwise decreases the voltage and clockwise increases the voltage. We now set the voltage to 0.49 volts, then remove the screwdriver and recheck it and we're done. We can now finish off the rest of the connections to the Arduino or plug it into our 3D printer or stepper motor driver shield. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.